All right, it's week something or other. Uh, tonight's game, Sandusky's daycare was don't blow it. Two one and two teams. Two teams very close in terms of points per game. Eight point seven versus eight point three. Uh, Sandusky's daycare. We've already had a few people offer themselves as phone friends. Sandusky's daycare. Uh, not great on choosing when to use that. Um, only thirty three percent when they've had a uh, phone a friend. Don't blow it. Don't play a great comeback when the uh, other team fumbles the bag, only 25% on steal. So I get a lot of their points from just uh, their own questions, but can they uh, capitalize when Sandusky makes mistakes? Is, is anyone Last else hearing that in the background? Yeah. What, what is that? Is that my fan? Is that my computer overheating because this stupid entire process um not chicken hawks uh sandusky's daycare lost to the chicken hawks 8 to 12 last week whereas don't blow it lost 9 8 close one to the chop house last week uh i will mute myself between or while you guys are uh, discussing questions because my computer has decided that it wants to die in the short future so um we get into the first round of the night which is nfl fantasy top performers this will be from last year as this season has not started yet but as we get close we're celebrating the start of that would anyone like to double Can't hear everyone again. Same issue as last week. Why it does this, I don't know. Double. He can. <laughs> All right. He can definitely hear. He can hear. I can. I can hear you guys now. No, it Zoom oh, does this okay. thing where like harsh way like just, like just makes my speakers not work. Double. All right. We're going to double. Great. We got a whole double. <laughs> from don't blow it. First question goes to Sandusky's, though. What quarterback had the most PPR points in a game at 42.8 after throwing 398 yards for four touchdowns and rushing 29 yards for one touchdown against the Browns? Would this be Josh Allen? No, they didn't play them last year. Oh. I have one guy in mind. The guy who pooped his pants? No. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't really have to. I think this is Justin Herbert. Browns led up a lot to him last year. Okay. Justin Herbert, final answer. That is correct. There you go, beating. I actually thought notably, that was notably a question Matthew covers the team. <laughs> oh yeah, classic. I genuinely thought that was Lamar Jackson, though. I, I thought, thought that was, was you know, four interceptions team. against the Browns last year, actually. All right. Oh yeah. To take the lead right off the bat, don't blow this question's for you. What tight end had the most PPR points in a game of 41.7, uh, catching 11 of 13 targets for 147 and two TDs against the Colts? So hard. Um, Darren Waller. Did he play the Colts? Maybe not. Fuck. What about like Dalton Schultz? Uh, could have been Dallas. 
Dude, I'm just trying to think of who the Colts played, and I have, like, no clue. I can't even think. Well, the Chiefs are also in the AFC West. I don't think they played the Colts last year. So Colts I'm like, are in the AFC South. I know. I don't think the Chiefs – the Chiefs didn't play them, so I don't think the Raiders did. Oh, God. Who do we go with? I like Dalton Schultz. Should we just go with the Cowboys? Yeah. We'll go with Dalton Schultz. I don't know if they oh, played yeah. the Cowboys, but – Oh, I thought you meant the team. Yeah. Name. Yeah. Incorrect. I, I, is this Mark Andrews? Because I no, think I had him on my team. This is okay. Darren Waller. This was when oh the Raiders gosh. had to win to make the playoffs towards the end of the year. Okay. I'm pretty sure. Darren Waller went off that game. Oh, my God. I don't I hate it. I mean, I had I Mark Andrews. Mark Andrews didn't, but I know Darren Waller did. Mark Andrews had like 35 plus against one team because I had him on my I, I hate to break it to them. I think this is Darren Waller at the end when Carson Wentz's demise started. Lock it in, baby. Final answer. Oh, oh no. is correct. It is Mark Andrews. Oh, I'm so sorry. I he was on my oh, team. God. I had him <laughs> on my team. I was, I'm thinking, sorry. I'm sorry, I was thinking of Fletcher. NFL schedules, and I thought for some reason the Colts were in the NFC. That so, game was, I think, decently late in the season because I do remember it being pretty big in terms of fantasy implica- like playoff implications, oh. <laughs> like fantasy-wise, people having Mark Andrews. All right, so one point on the board after – One point on the board after round one. No points on that double. Next is questions about TV, the WBCW. Sandusky's Daycare, would you like to uh, double this? What is WBCW? It's the Warner Brothers. It's the Warner Brothers channel or the CW. One one channel kind of turned in, the the WB turned into the CW. It sounds like something we should absolutely knock up on. All right, so no double there. Sandusky, this question's for you. Identify this 2002 to 2011 teen drama from its cast. I think Teen Wolf was on the CW. Um, Fletcher, you recognize a single person on screen? No, not really. I mean, I like Teen Wolf. of teen dramas from that time. Teen Wolf sounds like that guy kind of looks wolfy. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I have no idea. I, I don't hate Team Wolf. I have another guess, but I don't know the name of the show. I just can describe it. And I feel like that would just give them the opportunity to steal it. So, is it the vampire show? Yeah. That, well, that's Vampire Diaries. I don't think it's I have vampire no idea Diaries. what the lifespan of that was. So, you, you decide, Will. I like Teen Wolf. Final. Empire Diaries is the only thing I could actually think of. Yeah, I, I, I don't have a solitary. It definitely it. wasn't Team Wolf. I mean, they look like they could be vampires. <laughs> sure. Um, another show I was thinking was Supernatural, but I don't think that's a teen drama. In fact, I know that's not a teen drama. Just go with the Vampire Diaries. I don't, I don't, I don't I know a single don't really know. Okay. show. Yes. Vampire Diaries final. Um, it's not supernatural either. It is Smallville. Oh, oh I know. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's not the guy from Smallville. <laughs> this is, in fact, the guy from Smallville. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Don't blow it. This question's for you. Identify this 2006 to 2012 teen drama from its cast. Mm-hmm. Teen Wolf. I don't, wolf. <laughs> I don't <laughs> fucking know. I don't know. I've never seen a single one of these people in my life. I, I, you know what? Oh, oh, wait. Oh, he was. I don't know what the show is, but he was in the fucking uh, like that oh. Cinderella movie. Isn't that the guy from? With, uh, is that the guy from One Tree Hill? <laughs> wait, it totally is. Oh, yeah, this might be One Tree Hill. Dude, fucking. Yes, yes, dude, lock it in. One Tree Hill, final. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> my my sister used to watch that show. Dude, I watched the first episode of that, not realizing it was like a girl show. I thought it was like a basketball, like got like a Friday watch night. Watch your mouth, Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Matt, Matt is a big One Tree Hill fan. 
<laughs> that is a huge pull. Oh, sorry. Where that pull came from, I don't know, but we've got ourselves a level <laughs> game. So, all right, college basketball transfer portal, Sandusky's, would you like to double? Nope. Right, guys? No. No. All right, question to Sandusky's. What point guard recently transferred from Iowa State to Texas? I don't have a clue. Ethan, can we phone a friend, Matt? Is the only people who have vetted this game are Neil and oh, why, why match? So, like, curiosity. Yeah. He's a Texas fan. Okay. If he's a tech, yeah. Because my co I feel like if it's a, a, it's a notable enough transfer for it to right. be a My co is a big here, Texas Matt fan. So, if he's a big, if Matt keeps up with Texas basketball, we can do that too. I, we don't have a chance here. And I think this is a good question to phone a friend, Matt, on because he's right. a Texas fan. And if, yeah. We're going to phone a friend, Matt. His tail must be wagging so hard right now. I'm sorry. I have absolutely no idea. That was was a fucking fear. Jesus Christ, Will. I don't know if this is a a really big name. Marcus Carr transferred from Minnesota, but that was the season – like that was like last season. Um, I'm not sure this is that big of a player, to be honest. Um, But that's one name I do know. Is it – does that mean this season, Ethan, or just like in general recently? Okay, yeah, like, obviously the season hasn't happened yet, so that makes it hard to, like, kind of keep up with things. But, yeah, I don't know. I'm sorry. Marcus Carr, final answer. Incorrect. No clue. Yeah. No clue. Um, Derek? Derek? Do you know a Girl single fine. name from Iowa State no. <laughs> last year? I don't. Derek Green, final answer. Tyrese oh. Hunter. Incorrect, Tyrese Hunter. Hmm. All right, question two, don't blow it. What small Ford recently transferred from Memphis to Eastern Michigan? Oh, come on. <laughs> So Fletcher knows it. It's, uh, uh, the only person in this league that I would know would know this question would be Vigrant, which I have his phone number, but that's a risky phone in front. Well, can we, we might be forced here. Fletcher? Fletcher knows it. Well, I think Fletcher said, oh, come on, because it's a ridiculous question. Yeah, it is pretty ridiculous. Who else could uh, – who else would know this? Dude, we don't know any Eastern Michigan people. We don't know a single Memphis person. <laughs> Fletcher is oh, your I... Memphis person. Should we call? No. Should, should we call Matt Sharon? <laughs> Dude, I don't think so. Then call Vigran, or call like Ross or something. I think we save it. We have Calvin here. We can use him. Let's just hope Fletcher doesn't know it. Vigran wouldn't answer my call. Okay. Pass. Yeah, Fine. we'll pass. I don't call him there. This is. Former five star. This is Imani Bates. Okay, like I thought it was. a big name player. Yeah, this is Imani Bates. Final answer. Um, that is correct. Okay. A real I, Memphis did, I, I I turn on my face cam because I'm not allowed to outright say that I know the answer. Oh, you didn't pop her up in the front calls. So I can't see everyone. Okay. Damn. Both both were uh, do that. both were rated ninety nine percent. Transfers by twenty four seven sports on their college basketball transfer portal. So, the two biggest transfers of the uh, all the year. All right, on to the next round. Niches for the night. U.S. geography. This question goes to Sandusky's daycare um, for two points. What is the largest lake in the U.S. not part of the Great Lakes? One lake comes to mind. Lake Lanier. No. It was a lake, well, they all know. Salt Lake? Oh. I don't hate that. When you kind of look at a map of the Um, U.S., uh, you at least see that lake. I have another one. Do you want me to say it? Well, we're – how – do you think your lake is bigger than Salt Lake? It's a pretty big fucking lake. But, I mean, I think (laughs) – What state your lake in? How many times has Fletcher been fucked? <laughs> That's a California. good point. California? Oh, I know what Lake Fletcher is thinking of. 
Oof. I think uh, Salt Lake is bigger yours. than Fletcher's. Let's go with let's go with yours. You're pretty confident, but I mean, I just when I think when I look at the map of the U.S., you can see Salt Lake. Okay, yeah, let's do that. We're gonna go with Salt Lake. Final answer. Oh, thank God we did not overthink it. I was. Are we thinking of Lake Tahoe? I was thinking of Tahoe. Oh, okay, that's a good one too. Yeah. yeah. All right, to keep it a one-point game, don't blow it. Your Game of Thrones. Um, the Temple of the Many-Faced God is located in what city? Bravos. Hi. Bravos? Yeah. I think you're right. It's in Bravos. Let's make sure. Wait, just many, because um, I don't, Fletcher... Where all you goes to go to the Many-Faced... Yeah, it's in Bravos. The Temple of the Many-Faced God is where Arya goes, correct? Yes. Okay, I'm just making sure. Bravos. Landing. Bravos, final answer. God damn it. That is correct. Extra points if you can tell me what the name of the Temple of the Many Days God is. Uh, is that like the door? The House of Black and White? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that is correct. I didn't know if it was the door black and white. All right, one point game. We move into the next round. Rap albums. Sandusky's, would you like to double? No. Okay. Sandusky's, this question is for you. See you again. Boredom and Who Dat Boy are the most uh, three most streamed tracks off what 2017 album? Uh, I think that's a Tyler the Creator album. Flower Boy, that's what it is. This isn't the song "See You Again" for Fast and Furious. I'm pretty sure not. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I, I don't I, think that's um, that song isn't named "See You Again." Okay, it's named something else. So, Flower Boy Fletcher. Yeah, <clears throat> it's the Tyler the Creator album. I know Boredom. I don't know the other uh, two. Yeah, All lock right. it in. Flower Boy. Final answer. Fuck. That is correct. Will you are also incorrect. The name of that song with Charlie Puth and Wiz Khalifa is "See You Again." It is. Yeah, I, I thought it was see you again, but I had no idea what the other ones are. All right. Keep it a one point game. Don't blow it. Neighbors, Deja Vu, and Immortal are the three most streamed tracks off of what 2016 album? This is uh, would be J. Cole. J. Cole, For Your Eyes Only, I believe. Um, yeah, I don't remember the name of this album. Yeah. What's it's, uh, For Your Eyes Only? Is the black and white one. Cool. Yeah, I mean, for your eyes only, final. Yeah, I think you're right. Oh, yeah, that's correct. Right. Yeah. All right. All right, still one point game. Sandusky's has their double. Don't blow it, still has their phone a friend. Round six, Champions League finals. Sandusky's, would you like to double? No. No? No. All right. Guess the Champions League final teams by their managers. Winner, Yep Heinks, and the loser, Jurgen Klopp. I, I know who the losing team is. Who do they lose yeah. to, bro? I don't know. Um, I have one idea. Um, who's your idea? I think it is a black and white team. Black and white team. That Ronaldo was on. Yeah, dude, we know we know it's Juventus. It's not real. <laughs> <laughs> this is Juventus and Liverpool a, a matchup. Um, was Juve Liverpool a matchup? I kind of think it was. They made it a shit ton. I like. Um, I, like that. I like that. Yeah. Let's. Let's not overcook this thing. Yeah, let's go with the Juventus Liverpool final answer. Oh, so I think they seem pretty confident with Liverpool, right? And then Juventus was their guess. So I thought I thought they were confident. With... Well, they knew Liverpool lost. Oh, okay. So they're trying to think. I think Didn't Man That's... City. Didn't Man City beat Liverpool. I... Okay. That's the I don't care. Yeah, <laughs> I, dude, I don't know actually. Right. I'm Man, gonna... Man City, Liverpool final. Nate, I swear to God, this would be the best. <laughs> That's Matt's wet dream. Yeah. 
Incorrect. Is this is the German matchup of okay. Munich and Dortmund. Oh. I knew Klopp managed Dortmund beforehand, but I didn't know when so Dortmund would have made the championship. How far we go back here? 2013. Oh, wow. 2013? Not really that far. Last four years are nothing for me. All right. Question for Don't Blow It. Guess the Champions League final by their team managers, Luis Enrique and Massimiliano Allegri. Um, <laughs> so I could, Dylan might know. Dylan, you think Dylan know or Matt? I mean, Matt's a soccer fan. Oh, I guess we could call Matt. Yeah. Be easier. Let's just I don't get trust, I trust Matt more than I trust Dylan. So yeah. <laughs> well, you give him some more time to think. Yeah. <laughs> Luis Enrique. <laughs> Massa Milano. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Better not be one of those Italians. Yeah. Massa Milano. <laughs> right. <laughs> all right. All right. All right. <laughs> hey, Matt, can you save us, please? Yeah. That's <laughs> We're going to phone a friend, Matt. Mars, yeah. yeah. Barcelona Juventus. Okay, Final. we're going to go with that. <laughs> <laughs> Show me the money. Barcelona Juventus is correct. Yeah. Yeah. It, says, it says Real Madrid. It is Barcelona. I realized that mistake as I was like switching the, to the next question. It is Barcelona. I reconfirmed it with Wikipedia. No, it, it, they're correct. Dan, the, what was it? Ancelotti, actually, at that time. Will, who was Real Madrid? I think man? it was Ancelotti. Yeah. When we beat Juve, I believe it was Ancelotti. Angelotti, whatever. All right, five five. Five. Tie game. Sandusky still has their double on the board. Next round is famous philosopher. Sandusky's, would you like to double? No, right? I don't hate doubling here because so we're on round seven. We have eight, nine, and ten. We're not gonna get we're either gonna get NBA or MLB. Um and this seems like one that could be easy. I agree. And if it's that. really hard, I don't like their chance to steal it because they have a 25% steal percentage. Okay. I, I agree. That it's probably going to be an easier name. But I only know like But five. it could be an easy name that we narrow down to two and then they get to steal it. So I, I'm – I'd rather not sink on famous philosophers or right, – Then we'll save it. We'll save it then. All right. Not doubling this question for the Sanduskies. This philosopher wrote two treatises of government and is notable a figure in liberalism. Joe Biden. Yeah, this is uh, um, this is why we didn't double. So that's a win right there. Two treatises of government. I'm trying to think. Notable. Who was like hanging out with Thomas Paine back then? Because I feel like it's that neck of the woods. The Skyler sisters? When I think philosopher, I think a lot older. But uh, I guess. No. Yeah. Are you thinking like the Greeks? Yeah, I'm thinking those fuckers. You want to go with one of the three big ones? <laughs> no. I feel like. Plato, Socrates. I don't think. Fletcher, Aristotle. dealer's choice. Dude. You decide. Pick oh one. no, you decide. You're kidding me. You just you pick right uh, up. Fucking Plato. Final answer. It is not Plato. Not Plato. Could it be Socrates, Aristotle, <laughs> anyone? I was trying to think of the way. Like, is that a? Yeah, that's like um, liberalism. Maybe Socrates. I was, I was listening to a Joe Rogan clip about that. Sure. I have no idea if it has any relation to this whatsoever, but yeah, I don't care. Cool with Socrates, that. final. Socrates. <laughs> Incorrect. This is the Englishman John Locke. Okay. Wow. Wow. The guy from uh, Lost. No points there. Don't blow it to take the lead. Yes. This philosopher wrote, thus spoke Zarathustra and is a notable figure in nihilism. Mm. 
No. Nihilism. Nihilism is when you believe that like everything's for nothing. Like doesn't nothing matters. That's like Buddhist shit. Is there like a famous like Buddha? I mean, is it is it? Be like, is Gandhi a philosopher? You wouldn't be a nihilist, wouldn't be. Um, what about like the Buddha? Well, I think that would be Buddhism. I don't fucking know. Go with Gandhi. <laughs> Give Gandhi. Shit. Oh, I don't. Well, I know one. The guy who founded Buddhism is Siddhartha something. I'm thinking of Kamp. You're thinking of who? Kamp, isn't it? It's like Kamp, Kamp. You're saying Mein Kamp. <laughs> no, there's, there's a philosopher that's like Kamp or Kunk or something. That, was, that, that I thought was a nihilist. I have no idea. I just I'm not gonna pronounce it right and I don't think that's gonna get it to us. Like okay, Davy Crockett. Siddhartha Gautama. <laughs> Siddhartha is incorrect. This is Nietzsche. Um, uh, oh, <laughs> uh, made a multiple choice, I would have gotten it for sure. Alright. <laughs> 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 Still five fives and does these are tails over. Next round is uh, niche round. Jumanji, two oh, points. Oh boy! All right, ten duskies. This goes to you. The story of Jumanji is set in what small town in what state? I know it. It's um, it's the place in it's in. I know the state, but that doesn't help us. Which is you want small town and state? I need the I need the town and the state. Oh fuck. Do you have any idea on the town name? Because I think I have a state. I, let's not even give him the state, I feel like. Yeah. So we're just fucked here? Yeah. We're just not going to give a guess? I, I can't think of a town name. That's that. Um, any thoughts, Nate? Whoville. It's definitely. <laughs> Is it the same in all of these movies? Well, it's probably like the original story. It is. It was definitely like. I remember it being like kind of New Englandish, maybe I, like Ohio. I, I thought know. it was New Englandish too. What <laughs> fuck would it be? I, I don't know. Name a state in uh, Massachusetts. Fucking. I, I mean, a city. city. <laughs> Boston, Massachusetts. <laughs> All right. Ohio, notably not New England. Um, well, we said or, but. This is uh, Brantford, wow. New Hampshire. Okay. Fletcher, were you in the right state? Yeah, I had the state. I knew right. it was one of those. So no points there. Uh, big moment here for Don't Blow It. Old school RuneScape. Question for you. This armor can be obtained after completing the Temple Knight Recruitment Drive quest by purchasing in, I don't believe it's Flavor Park, uh, it autocorrected, and requires 20 defense and uh, 10 prayer to wear. Uh, uh, proselyte armor. Final answer. Right. Okay. You're, you're a little quiet, Nate. I don't know if you heard. Oh, proselyte armor. Final answer. What? That's a big win, boys. That's all we needed. That's. Uh, you said proselyte armor. I said. Pro that's. Don't say Let's it. say crystalline armor. I don't. Crystalline armor, final answer. That is incorrect. I believe this is the tier of armor below proselyte armor. This is initiate armor. Oh, 
So no points that oh, niche goodness. round for either team. It remains 5-5, five, five, and just be still with their double. Round nine, video game of the year villains. All right, we saved the double for 10. All right. <laughs> Sandusky, this question is for you. This 2018 game of the year has players face the antagonist Baldur. This sounds so familiar. Um, it's God of War. That's what it is. Lock it in. Wait, do we need wait, sure. wait, wait. Do we need a specific God of War? Because there's like multiple in the series. I need the name of the game that this character appears in. God of War, then. I don't have a it. That's the best I'm going to get. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't have anything better. I've never heard of that before. I know so. that's a good game. God of War, final answer. That is correct. Yes. The name of that game is just God of War. It does not have a qualifying like the other titles in the uh, series. All right. To keep it even, don't blow it. This question is for you. This 2017 game of the year has players face off against uh, antagonist Calamity Ganon. This is uh, Breath of the Wild. What? Breath this of the Wild? This is Zelda. The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild. Oh. And that was game of the year? Yeah. Okay. The <laughs> uh, Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild, final answer. That is correct. All right, six six Sandusky's doubles. Let's see what they got themselves into. This is MLB short stays. This is going to be. I'll explain the category. This is uh, the career paths of some uh, MLB journeymen. You get the name of the player. You get all of the teams that they played for, except for one. I need the name of the team that is missing. Make sense? Yeah. Yeah. You get you get the player, you get all of the teams except for one. I need the missing one for two points. And the win, Sandusky's, this question is for you. Nelson Cruz played for the Brewers, the Rangers, the missing team, the Mariners, the Twins, the Rays, and the Nationals. Hey. Well, I'm thinking. I think I got it. I just, I don't know, so just take it. Baltimore Orioles, final answer. That's correct. <laughs> Who do you think you are? I am. All right, to keep it a one point game, don't blow it. Mark Mellon Cohen played for the Yankees, this missing team, the Red Sox, the Pirates, the Nats, the Giants, the Braves, the Padres, and the Diamondbacks. Wait, do you know who this is? It's Melanson, if that helps. Nope. Mate, do you know who this is? Not really. Why don't we go with all reliable then? <laughs> do you think you go to the Yankees, to the A's, to the Red Sox? Dude, oh, they probably man. just shipped them out. <laughs> I don't know them, so. <laughs> I feel like he just slowly went to worse teams. And is that? This is infinitely harder. Yeah. <laughs> I, I kind of agree with Matt. I actually thought Nelson Cruz went to the Astros. I thought I pictured him in like an orange jersey. Well, my first guess with Nelson Cruz was the Reds. So should we go with that? <laughs> oh, God. The Reds over the, the old reliable? I, mean, I just don't see the old reliable happen. Will, Will, do you know the answer? Yeah, yeah let's go. Um, I'm, I'm going to make an educated guess, but I don't know the answer. All right, Nate, yeah. yeah. Go with it if you like it. I, Let it fly, man. The A's, final answer. The Oakland A's, final answer. <laughs> it is not the A's. Um, Pirates, not Nats, the Giants. <laughs> Braves, Padres, D-backs. Um, I don't think it's NL East. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's like the Reds. That. It's not the Pirates. It can't be the Pirates. Um, let's go with the Tigers, final answer. Yeah, I like that. Incorrect. Anyone in the audience know? Yeah, it's the Astros, you dumb fuck. No. 
Damn. I know nothing about baseball. I can only trust what the other. If you had at least blacked out the Pirates, it would have been more fair. That's you know, I don't want to turn into a primos here, but according to Matt, that's a lot harder of a question. And Matthew you got a Browns question, so if DBI could stop getting fucked. We really appreciate it because we're actually in these games this year, and this is getting a little annoying. Uh, I I fucked up that niche. We should have fucking won. God damn it! Cool, good game, boys. Fuck. Good game. Close game. game.